everyone, my name is Jordanay and this is my official unofficial network state exam, state exam solution and now it's the certain topic which is about handling the IPv6 address space. The need for IPv6 addresses is quite uh, easy or quite uh, yeah quite easy to figure out that uh, the IPv4 only uses 32 bits therefore address space therefore we don't have too many of them if I remember well we have approximately 4 billion about or of them so the aim of course for the IPv4 IPv4 for the IPv6 addresses that it has a larger address space it has it uses 128 bits and if, if I remember well, it's a number and after that you have to say three times trillion so I don't even know how that big number can be spelled out correctly so of course the need, need for IPv6 is that the depletion of depletion of the IPv4 addresses also you can talk about here that the IPv4 addresses, there is the network address, translation, the private and the global. So the network address translation helped to mitigate the depletion a bit, but we cannot avoid the inevitable. So that's why we need the IPv6 addresses. But of course it is hard to cope with them because of course, as I said, we have a lot of IPv6 addresses, but there should be a conversion between the IPv4 to the IPv6. So there should be some new devices or some new functionality. And of course, the internet supporters are not aware of that. I mean, that's why we're still using IPv4 because they did not uh, come up with everything. Of course, here you can talk about if I remember where well, dual stack and other stuff. That, but I will not. The structure and format of the IPv6 addresses, as I said, we have a lot of other stuff. And how does it look like? We can type eight times x if I remember well. Five, six, seven, eight. So basically, that's how it looks like and which means that x can go from 0, 0, 0 to f, f, f. so we are using hexadecimal <sighs> and uh, basically the structure this is the format of course here you can come up with all the bullshit that you know that for example let's start it's 2001 uh, let's say 0 f e 0 or one because I don't know what these are meaning. Let's say four zero four zero four zero four zero come on one two three four five six four zero no there you go so let's assume that this is an IPv6 address even though I believe not so of course you can come out that we can omit the zeros so you can type uh, this if it starts with zero you can omit them and if we have four zeros you can write a simple one instead of writing all of them out and then again omit the last and if I remember well if we have like this in my example a lot of zeros then I believe we can do something like this because we know that between them there will be only zeros so I mean between here there will be only zeros therefore we can shorten them down so of course because the IPv6 addresses or we are having much more IPv6 addresses then we don't need network address translation and they advantage of IPv6 that its uh, header is simplified if we compare it to the IPv4 version header because there are less fields so its header can be for example extended for future approaches or usage 
the different types of IPv6 addresses and their usage, the IPv6 multicast addresses, solicited node addresses. So, okay, so the different types. Meanwhile, at IPv4, we are using unicast, multicast, and broadcast. The, meanwhile, here at IPv6, we are using unicast, anycast, no, unicast, multicast, and anycast, not broadcast. And unicast is exa exactly the same we are sending to a destination. The multicast is we are sending to a group. And the anycast is we are sending to uh, these two multiple desired destinations. So, what IPv6 addresses we have? We have the unicast global, which is basically the IPv4 can is similar or can comparing to the IPv4 public version. So these IP addresses are used by intern service providers, routers in order to have the routing, and uh, that's all. We have the unicast link local. That means that it gives an IP address that can be used within a local area network and uh, if I remember well that's all about it and we have the unique link local that's something similar than to the IPv4 private IP but uh, here we cannot uh, root out this uh, these addresses that's the difference if I remember well okay the others I will talk. Different methods of configuring IPv6 addresses, dynamic and static address assignment. Of course, we can assign the static IPv6. We have to give the prefix and the length, so it's a bit almost the same like at IPv4. And we can dynamically assign it to the DHCP version 6 protocol, but the with the with IPv6 we have different approaches because we c the it is possible to dynamically allocate an IP address without communicating with a DHCP server. So that's the first approach when the devices the computer comes alive and will send a solicitation message to the router that. Uh, hey, I would like to get an IP address and the default gateway and the, the router will provide with an advertisement packet or message this data. Therefore, in this case, we don't have to use a, a server. We have the... What, what, what else we have? We have the other one. I know that there are three approaches. This was the simple where we don't need I know that there is, I don't know what its name, but there is an approach that we are asking data from uh, the local router to give IP address, but we are asking, but we are getting some additional information from the DHCP server, and uh, this additional information can be, for example, the domain. And we have the dynamic allocation approach where we get everything from uh, the DACP server. So that's basically the summary of the DACP version 6 and uh, this dynamic auto. So if I remember well, it was a stateless address auto configuration. That's the name when the router provides us the, the IP address and the default gateway. And uh, I believe that's all about it. The solicited node address is coming at the ICMP version 6 protocol because at ICMP 6 version because with the IC, ICMP with, I, with IPv6 the neighbor I mean the, your neighbor will be your node address and you can send with a, an ICMP an address resolution protocol if I remember well or you can send address resolution protocol to the node addresses that does exactly the same like in 
IPv4 version, we are sending a specific IP address and we would like to get its, uh, its uh, actual physical address. And uh, I believe it also gives error messages and there is another approach is something double something, but I don't know what its name. The differences between IPv4 and IPv6 protocols concerning access control lists and routing, I'm going to talk about this at the routing, uh, at the, no, not routing, but at the um, filtering topic, therefore I'm going to skip it now and uh, let's check it then. <sighs> This is not a good topic, but mainly that's all that you could tell about the IPv6. Of course, if you learn the header more, then that will be good. But of course, again, if I said something wrong or I missed something, I know I said somewhere that I don't know its name and that's name, so please check for that. But that's all and really I don't care if I miss something.